South of me would probably be in an insane asylum. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad by And I think that's important. I, I have a major commitment to education whenever you get it. I got my master's degree when I was 60, okay? I was 60 years old. And so I, I love the idea that I got to put teachers in a place of respect and that people appreciate teachers and are respectful of them. Can I start on that one? <laughs> um, I think it is a really exciting time to be an actor, a young actor. Now, I, I come across a lot of real problems because of my size and because of my age. As Goldie Hawn said in First Wives Clubs, there are three ages of women in Hollywood. Babe, district attorney, and driving Miss Daisy. Well, I <laughs> never was a babe. Miss Appleby was my district attorney, and I've not quite reached driving Miss Daisy, so uh, I'm still waiting. But this is a really good time for people who are interested in films and television. I was just listening to NPR, Tom Hanks, is doing a web show for iPhone, strictly for iPhone. And he's excited about the new media. And I think that, you know, if you're interested in film, now is the time to do it. Because there are so many opportunities for young people. Now, on the other side of that, traditional television and movies is tough right now. Because money isn't there to do things and I find myself being kind of a D-list actor going up against women that I've been watching for years. Names that you won't know, but who are my role models, Mary Jo Catlett and, and Mary Pat Gleason are auditioning with me. These, wi these women never had to audition before, but we're all going up for SAG scale jobs. And why should they hire Royce Heron when they can get Mary Jo or Mary Pat? for the same money. Um, so I would say if you're thinking about coming to do traditional film and television at this time, go on the internet. <laughs> go on the internet. Now, I took pride in being a one take wonder. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know that's all they get. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, the strange thing is, is I only did the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the first three seasons, but I know that I am in some episodes in Zio and one other series, and I didn't shoot those. Those were things that they shot during Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, they get paid. was um, film acting 101 for me, because I was theater trained, totally theater trained, and all my experience before had been in the theater, and film acting is a totally different thing, and I just want to call his name every time I can, Elon Rosenberg, who was the Elon. director of, photo yeah. of photography for Power Rangers liked me and taught me how to act in front of the camera. He would put sandbags down so I could hit my mark. He would make sure that I looked on the right side. I mean, it was, it was like going to college to learn how to do so. Power Rangers was great for that for me. It helped me further my career. Uh, 6.30 call, sometimes 5.30. Then I would go and sit in my dressing room for three hours <laughs> while they shot all of the ranger stuff. And then they would call me on set for my five minutes of really hard work. 
And then I'd go back and I'd sit in my dressing room for another couple of hours and then have lunch. And then go back to my dressing room and about five o'clock in the afternoon I'd do another five minutes of intense work. And then they'd let me go about seven o'clock. So that was a typical day for me. You get fast.